Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking Chevy Cruze. If you're joining us from the previous video where we talked about the two parts that are associated with the P0171 error code, glad to have you. In this video we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your mass airflow sensor. Let's get started. All right, this is Miles. He is the proud owner of this Chevy Cruze. We're down here on vacation here in Florida. Hey, sometimes when you're on vacation, car troubles happen, but we're gonna get it fixed. First thing we're gonna do, hop in the vehicle and pop the hood. Well, if you don't know how to open the hood of your car, yikes, but let me show you how. Lever's right down here. Give that a little pull and you can hear it in action. In the front of the vehicle now, and Miles is going to open up the hood. On the bottom portion, you've got that little hook. There it is, he's going to grab it. And inside there, you've got that portion there, you are going to insert it. And from here, you've got a little case or protector on your battery. It's got a few notches in here. You just go ahead and carefully undo those plastic portions. And be careful, they're plastic. You do not want to break them. Once you remove that cover, Grab your 10 millimeter socket and loosen up this 10 millimeter nut. You don't actually have to remove the entire nut. Just loosen it to a point where you can remove this negative terminal. From here, you are going to remove that negative. Set it in a safe location where it's not going to hop back up and gain contact with that terminal. Perfect. At this point, all electrical power has been cut to your engine. So let's continue on. Again, here is your mass airflow sensor and from here, a few things this is your electrical connection point be very 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 careful when you remove this electrical connection point here is how you do it this little yellow tab here yours may be a different color shift it back like that and this portion here you push down see that as you push down you will pull this electrical connection point outward again while you're pushing down pull outward just like that. And from here, you have two Phillips screws. One on top, one on bottom. Let's grab our Phillips screwdriver and remove both those screws. Be very careful, do not drop those inside the engine. They may be tough to find. There's the first one. That's what it looks like. All right, YouTubers making progress. Both Phillips screws are removed. And from here, all you're going to do is carefully remove that entire sensor from this portion of the airbox hose connection. That's what it looks like. Again, this is the Bosch brand OEM part, original equipment manufactured. What we'll do is take that to the dealership and buy our brand new part. All right, you tours back from our local Chevy dealership and the OEM part, AC Delco, and here is the model number. Here's the old part, just to recap, see the actual features of this side of the sensor compared to that side you want to focus on this side that is how it came out of its insert just like that with this portion and feature up so we want to insert the brand new one accordingly so miles is going to open up the box and we're going to carefully insert it like that and we'll grab the Phillips screws and secure it and you want the screws pretty snug but don't over tighten it because you do not want to strip the screws or crack the plastic part and as he's doing that I'm going to come to the back side Miles is now going to grab the electrical connection point insert it accordingly until it clicks just like that and from here push the yellow clip in place that part is properly secured and we are now going to re-secure the negative terminal onto the battery it might spark a bit but that's okay just be careful grab that 10 millimeter socket and wrench and secure that nut and again the negative terminal you want that nut pretty snug after that, we'll take the old part, we'll put it in the box, and we will discard that properly. Next thing, we are going to grab the cover plate to the battery, position it properly. Take a look at this little portion right here, and that is going to clip into place. This little notch right here needs to line up properly. And from here, again, we will put that in a safe location. 
Grab all our remaining tools. Do not leave any tools inside the engine compartment. Double check that prior to starting the engine. And once you verify that, let's hop in the vehicle and start the engine. We're looking for two things. Number one, after about five to 10 seconds, the check engine light goes out and the actual engine performance returns to its proper state. So let's hop in the vehicle and start the engine. All right, just to recap, the engine was stuttering at idle and sometimes even stalling. So let's start the engine and see if the new part has fixed the problem. Let's go check the check engine light, verify that that check engine light has gone out. And awesome news. There it is, YouTubers, no more check engine light. So, successful DIY project. Hey, you want to get back to our vacation here in Florida? I think so. Let's Time do for this. A beer. Yeah, let's do this. Hope this helps, YouTubers.